Hey guys, this is Josh. I'm going to make a quick video for you today. This is a bit of a advanced topic. We're going to talk about how to enable your Cordal Litecoin wallet with SegWit. There's a number of reasons why we'd want to do this. Uh, first and foremost, not every single wallet that's out there is SegWit enabled. Some are and some aren't. There's reasons behind that, although we're not going to get into that today. Um, but what we want to do is how to enable SegWit into our Litecoin wallet to connect with things like Coinbase, for example. First thing you're going to do here in your web browser is type in electrum-ltc.org. And when that pulls up, you should see in your web browser something exactly like this. And go ahead and click on Downloads. Here it'll show you on your machine. I'm on a Mac myself, so I'm going to go to the Mac version. But for you guys, if you're on Windows or Linux or something else, just click on what works for you. Once you've downloaded that installer, for Mac it'll look like this DMG file. Go ahead and open that up and run the application. Like with many different applications that you download from the internet, it'll give you this scary looking pop-up that says, you know, warning, are you sure you want to open this? This is unsafe. Um, it just means that it's not a verified download through you know, the Mac store or um, the Android store or whatever it might be. If you don't trust it, you can stop right here and <laughs> not, not follow along any further. Otherwise, uh, if you want to take the recommendation on how to connect your wallet, I would suggest opening this um, as I've done myself and I'll show you how it linked it up for me as well. Uh, it's perfectly safe as far as I'm concerned, but uh, to each their own, right? So once you open this up, um, you'll see it's going to ask you how you want to create a new wallet and how you want to name it. So you can give it a password if you like. I would recommend if you do, maybe use the same password or a similar password to what you're familiar with so you don't forget it. Then in the next step, you've got a few options. We're going to create a standard wallet. And this is important to follow along precisely if you want your Cordal wallet to map directly. So standard wallet. Then in the next step here, it's going to ask you how you want to create that standard wallet. You could create a new seed phrase. You could use a seed phrase you already have. Um, or what we're going to do today is use a master key. And this again is important as we're going to import our keys from our Cordal Litecoin wallet into this new Electrum Litecoin wallet, which is enabled with SegWit. And that's how we're going to connect our Cordal Litecoin wallet and enable it with SegWit to transfer back and forth to places like Coinbase. So once you've done that, you've reached this step here, it's asking you for the master key. You're gonna leave this window open, we're gonna come back to it later. Go into the Cordal user interface, open this window, and you can just minimize it. What you're doing is creating a connection to the Cordal server when you open that Cordal user interface, which is important because that's how we pull down the keys from our wallet. You don't need to log in here, you just need to open it, and minimize it. Then go back into your browser and you can type this address right in 127.0.0.1 colon 127.0.0.1 and that should pop open what looks like your Cordal user interface which it is you're just logging in through the web browser. This enables us to do a couple additional things that we can't do so easily through the standard Cordal user interface that you've already downloaded on your machine. It'll ask you how you want to log in. You're going to import your Cordal wallet backup file. Uh, that's probably the easiest way to do it. You can do it via seed phrase too if you've saved that, although most people just use their Cordal wallet backup file. Just click that, drag and drop that backup file, and you can log right into your account when you pop in your password. Once you've got your account opened, I'm using Google Chrome here, so it may be slightly different based off of your browser, but essentially you're going to lead to the same place, which is developer tools. So the web browser, developer tools. If you're unfamiliar with your browser, how exactly this works, you can always search on the internet to see how do I get to the web developer tools in whatever specific browser it is that you're using. This here is Google Chrome. You click the three dots at the top right, you go to more tools, and then for more tools, developer tools. Now, before I go to the next step here, I want to put this out. Do not share this XPRIV key that you are revealing. This is the master key to your account. 
So you should never be in a screen share situation with anybody or give this key out or leave it lying around. This is the master key to your account. If anyone has this key, they have access to your account. So this is very important. Once you've got your developer web tools that are open, you want to make sure that you're in this console function. There's a few functions there at the top. You want to make sure you're in console, which functions basically like your Mac terminal or your Windows command prompt. You enter commands and then they will generate information for you. So you're going to enter that command, which I'll put in the description of my video, but this Redux store command, which is going to pull your master key from your Litecoin wallet. Now, I took this screenshot for you guys before it generated mine, because like I said before, you do not want to share this. But as soon as you enter that, within moments, that key will be revealed, and then you can use that key to go back into our Electrum wallet, and you just copy that XPRIV key. Make sure you double click it and copy it, because it probably will be longer than you visually see it. So you want to copy that whole key, paste it in here, and then just hit next. Once you've done that, I recommend creating, again, with an encrypted password. Um, I use a similar password to what I've got in my Corda wallet to keep it all the same. Nobody likes remembering 100 million different passwords. You should now have your Electrum wallet connected. And for me, it's easy to tell because I had Litecoin sitting in my wallet. So when I open that Electrum account and I open that Electrum wallet using that XPRIV key, I should see my current Litecoin balance. If it's showing something different than your Cordal Litecoin balance, you have made a mistake and you should start at the beginning and go back through the steps very carefully. It's possible that you didn't copy that entire XPRIV key or miss something along the way, but this Electrum wallet should now look and show the same balance and the same history as you've got inside your Cordal Litecoin wallet. From here, you're set up. All you need to do if you want to send this out, let's say to a place like Coinbase, hit send, put in the proper address, and now you can send this Litecoin to any Litecoin wallet that is enabled with SegWit. So congratulations. You've got your Cordal Litecoin wallet, your Electrum Litecoin wallet, which we just created, and then the Coinbase Litecoin wallet. I made just a simple flowchart for you guys so you understand. Your Coinbase account is not being connected or linked to your light, uh, to your Cordal Litecoin wallet. In no way does Coinbase have access to Cordal. In no way does Coinbase have access to your Electrum account either. The flow of information is going from your Cordal Litecoin wallet to the Electrum Litecoin wallet, which has now been linked with that same key. And then from that Electrum Litecoin wallet, you're sending over to a place like Coinbase or, or frankly anywhere else. But just wanna leave this here and make it clear for you guys that you're not granting access or sharing your information. You're just enabling the flow of information from Cordal through Electrum to Coinbase. So that's it guys. Remember, retain control over your keys. If you don't have your keys, it's not your coins. You can now send Litecoin with true anonymity and we've enabled transfers with SegWit. That's all for today, guys. Have a good day.